Tired of living day to day like everything's alright Just waiting on that moment Waiting on my moment Now that you've developed your why, let's talk about the second principle in turning your network marketing business into a cash cow. What is it that you're willing to give up in order to get the things that you want? Is this business going to be easy? Yes and no. It's not easy in a sense because everybody do it if it was easy. But it's very simple. It's very simple. It's easy once you make the decision. See, it's easy for me to go out and show the plan. You know why? Because I got a big why. It was easy for her to pick that car up. She had a big why. It's hard to do it when you don't have a reason why. It's real hard. I'm telling you guys, waking up this morning, Saturday morning, putting, up a, uh, putting on a suit of clothes, if you lagged out of bed this morning, and you kind of, and some of you did, and that's okay. But if you drug out of bed this morning, it's because you don't have a big enough dream. But those who got up this morning, fired up, excited, drove from miles and miles away, excited, got here early, was anticipating what was going to happen, they got a big dream. They got many reasons why. Many, many reasons why. Same thing. If your son was here, this here was, uh, your son was standing at the hotel, your daughter was standing at the hotel, and you found out the hotel was on fire, are you going to drag out of bed? If you found out there was a shooting here, are you going to drag out of bed? No. Without makeup, everything, you just gone. <laughs> why? You got reasons why, guys. I'm just, and I'm, I'm, I'm using those examples because I want to hit you where the emotion is, because I want you to really understand what, it, what, it, what it's really going to take for you to start doing the things. Because, see, I'm going to talk about the how-to. But, see, if you don't understand this why, if you don't have reasons why, the how-to is not going to matter because you won't do them. You won't be consistent enough doing those things to make the financial equivalent come to pass. You have to be consistent with those things. So you have to figure out what it is that you're going to give up. You know what I had to give up? I had to give up some television time. Now, this was based on what my goals and dreams were. If you have big, 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 big dreams, that's great. You're going to give up a little bit more. If you've got small dreams, you have to give up a little bit less. But this is the thing I want you to understand about the industry of network marketing. You don't give those things up forever. You give them up for a small time, for a short period of time, and what happens is this. Whatever it is that you sow into your business or that you give into your business, if you're consistent with your actions, it will be given to you multiplied. And I'll give you an example. What did I have to give up? I had to give up golf on the cheap green fees. I could only afford to go over here to this particular golf course. It was a municipal course, and I'd, go, I'd walk. It'd be 180 degrees outside in Houston. Humidity, 200%. African hot outside. And I'm walking with a, some, some metal sticks on my back saying I'm trying to lose weight. The reason I was walking with golf clubs because I couldn't afford to purchase a cart. But I had to give up playing golf on weekends to work on my dream. I didn't give it up forever. I had to give up some television time because I watched a lot of TV. I'm not saying, am I saying television is bad? No. I'm saying it's bad for a person who's got a big dream, temporarily. I had to give up a lot of social events that weren't so important to me. Most of those social events that I had to give up were things that I was doing just to pass time because I didn't have anything better to do anyway. I had to give up some association with some negative people. I had to give up that association with negative people. I had to give up or invest money into my business. Why? Because it is a business. I don't, I don't consider this network marketing. Most of you know that. It's a multi-billion dollar industry right now, and your business can be a multi-million dollar business, and it's going to take some type of finances to make it work. It's going to take some type of finances to make it work. And so for me, I had to give up and invest money into my business. I had to give up some travel, some, you know, Loose travel time. I know we had a couple vacations that we wanted to take, if you want to call them vacations, in the same state. <laughs> going to the same state, you know. We're going to Austin. <laughs> you know. But I had to give up some of those things. Why? Because sometimes they called events and they called big meetings and they called uh, trainings on the days that we were going to plan that particular vacation. And guess what? In the beginning, it was uncomfortable. And then when they set the date, I may set that date, and I say, hey, I'm going to be at that training, you know, anyway. 
And so I gave up a lot of those small things. Now, this is what happened. Because I gave those things up and I worked the business consistently. Now, let me share something with you. Don't give the stuff up if you're not going to work the business. Just because you give a sacrifice, just because you give something up, doesn't mean that it's just going to come back to you anyway. You have to give it up and you have to work. When a, when a farmer goes out and sows some seeds, he doesn't just throw some seeds out there and say, hey, I'll see you all in about six months and I better have about, you know, 50 acres of corn out here. He throws the seeds out and then he works the seeds. He works the, the soil. He makes sure he fertilizes it. And he's out there every single day making sure the bugs are out of there, making sure that there's no birds coming to get the corn, making sure that the soil is the right temperature, or the soil is the right texture. And he's out there working, 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 working. And then guess what? 90 days later, he sees his harvest come. So you can't just go out there and give up, you know, give stuff up. Or invest stuff into your business and then expect something to, to come back if you don't go out there and do the work. So you have to have a consistent work habit along with that. So I gave up a lot of those things and this is what happened. Because we gave up those things, this is what happened. Miracles started to come, to come about. Because I was operating on a principle that governs the law of building wealth. And you can't refute those principles. Those principles are universal. I don't care if it's network marketing, any industry, those principles work. We gave up playing golf on the cheap green fees. Now, guess what? I play all over the world. Just come back from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Several of us were out there in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Played in, I mean, it's this course, incredible course called White Witch Country Club. I mean, the first tee, some of you saw the picture when we showed the slideshow. The first tee is, is about 200 yards. The tee box is about 200 yards from the fairway. That's how far down it is. 16 holes, ocean view holes. I mean, just carts already washed and everything. When we got there and we pulled up, they came and got our bags for us. We didn't have to carry any of our own golf clubs. And then when we got there, we had two caddies. We had people to go and chase that little white ball for us. <laughs> I needed three caddies. They couldn't find mine. <laughs> you know. Now, was it worth it giving up playing at Sharpstown to go play over here at White Witch? Was it worth it giving that up to play at Terra del Sol over in Aruba? Where it's just incredible, same thing, Ocean View Holes, I think green fees are around 200 and something dollars per round. And I mean, it's just incredible. You hit the ball one way because it's very windy in Aruba. You hit the ball one way with the, you know, with the one iron or a driver and you, you can only drive it about 150 yards hard as you can hit it. Then you come back the other way because the wind is blowing in your favor. You take a sandwich and you hit it almost 200 yards. I mean, incredible. Some of y'all don't understand that, but anyway. <laughs> but it was worth giving that up. You know, it was worth giving up some social events that I was able to give up. And now, guess what? I do the things that I really want to do and I do them in style. We just came from the uh, Houston, uh, the um, EV1.net Houston Bowl. We didn't sit down there, you know, in the nosebleed seats where everybody else was. We were there in the club seats. You follow what I'm saying? I was able to take my brother, I was able to take my son in the club seats. It got real cold out there that day. Everybody else was shivering. We were there, plush couches. We had about 15 plasma screen televisions that we were able to sit there, watch the game, and have food brought to us over at Reliance Stadium. While everybody else is out there shivering. Can't see the game because they got their coats over them. Because it, you know, it got real windy and cold. Was it worth giving up some of those events? Absolutely it was. You know, was it worth giving up some television time to do things like that? We gave up television time, and then we were able to go to Paris, and we were able to watch, um, you know, just some incredible shows in Paris. Was it worth giving up some television time to go to Vegas and be able to sit, I mean, just second row and see, oh, by Cirque du Soleil, and have water splashed on you because you're so close? Was it worth giving up some television time so now that when we go to Vegas, we were able to watch the um, Siegfried and Roy, and we were able to sit right there in the pit. Right there. I don't know if y'all know what the pit is. The pit is the high dollar tickets. Where you just, now some of y'all may think we're crazy for doing this, especially after what just happened recently, but we're sitting right there in the pit, and you got the animals that walk right by you. You can sit out there, and you can touch the lion, and you can touch the tigers. But there was choice. I didn't have to sit there if I, if I didn't want to. But because I gave that up, I was able to come back and do those things. And so what happened is this here. Because we put money into our business, 
when I didn't have it. Not that I took my savings. No, no, no. I just was smart about my business. I put into my business. And because I put into my business, what happens is it starts coming back to me tenfold. Guys, that's a principle and you can't refute it. I put money into my business and then I worked the business. And next thing you know, guess what happened? It came back tenfold. It came back a hundredfold. It came back a thousandfold. And now it's just coming in and it's just coming in and it's just coming in and just coming in. And sometimes it comes into a point that you don't even know what, all, what to do with it all. But we found, found out what to do with it, okay? Just want to let y'all know. We got plenty of reasons why, okay? You follow what I'm saying? So you got to give up those things, some of the things temporarily right now, so that you can have the lifestyle that you want. We had to give up, like I said, just, just negative association with, with people. And now, guys, we got friends. And for Christmas, I mean, guys, we got so many cards and baskets and, and I mean, just things that came to our house. I mean, it was like the 12 days of Christmas, before Christmas. And those things just came and just and it was because people just, you know, people just care. People like the contribution that we've sown into their life. And so what happens is some of that stuff starts coming back to us. And we can pick up the phone right now. We can call a friend and say, hey, listen, let's go over here to New York. Or let's go here. Let's do that. We had to give up a lot of little small things and, and, you know, that we couldn't afford to do. And now just the lifestyle is just up there. My wife now, she, you know, she gets her hair done in Dallas. She caught a flight two days ago to fly to Dallas to get her hair done. Why? Because she wants to. You follow what I'm saying? Just do what you want to do. See, that's, that's removing the lid. That's removing the box. Now, guess what? Before, she used to do her own hair because we couldn't afford to get it done because we had to put the money into the business. Say, honey, go to Walgreens. Get you one of those perms, those relaxers. <laughs> Whip it up. You can ask her. You follow what I'm saying? She made it look good, though. But we didn't have the money to go spend, you know, two, three hundred dollars, you know, to get her done. We didn't have the money to do that. We had to, I had to give up, you know, buying nice clothes in the beginning. This is our broke, broke days. And then what happened? Because we did that and we went out, we worked the business now, I get custom made clothes. And I buy things that you'll never see on anybody else. You follow what I'm saying? But four years ago, guess what we were? In the worst financial situation than 98% of you. It didn't take four years to get here either. I'm just telling the story now. You follow me? And so that's the key thing. Decide what you want. Decide what you're willing to give up. Success and freedom is not easy. Just ask the spider monkey. The spider monkey lives in the jungle and evades its predators with its speed and agility. Hunters, however, have figured out the secret to catching spider monkeys. See, spider monkeys love candy. So they set up these little candy jars with the opening just big enough for the monkey to squeeze its hand inside. The monkey runs towards the jar and grabs the candy inside. With the candy in the palm of its fist, the monkey can't remove both his fist and the candy. But the spider monkey is very persistent. He continues to pull as the hunter walks up and put a rope around his neck. See, the moral of the story is the spider monkey is so focused on the present that he won't let go of the little bit that he's got to get his freedom. Now would be a good time to decide what you're willing to give up to get what you want. Let's take a 30 second action break and write those things down. Try to live in day to day like everything's all right. Just waiting on that moment. Waiting on my moment.